touch the birds. No, 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 no. Oh. Don't touch the birds. No, they're gross. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that one almost bit him? Huh? Uh, no. Hold on. Hey. Okay. Ah. Go, go, go. Here. Here. Here's the one. Go. Oh, it's all. Good luck. He's getting yours. <laughs> Do you see him eating it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, guys, give Joel some bread. Mom, he threw the whole piece. <laughs> <laughs> well, Isaac, you gotta give him little pieces. He doesn't understand. Here you go, Joel. Here's a piece. Okay, no, you throw it. Joel's almost five, right? Yeah. Mom? But he, but he can't talk. It's true. Yeah. Mules can talk. Yeah, I know. Why can't he talk? <laughs> Joel got sick right after he turned one. Um. Kind of slowed him down a little bit, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. So he's just slower than most kids. I think eventually he'll catch up. You think Joel will read? Yeah, I think Joel will read eventually. Well, I mean, of course. He's just the way. Because, you know. Yeah. Joel's supposed to be a boy, <laughs> but he's a baby. He's a boy baby. <laughs> yep, he's a boy baby. That's just about right. <laughs> you know, there's lots of things Joel isn't good at, but there's some things he is good at. What is he good at? He's eating <laughs> laughing. <laughs> yeah. We're good at making him laugh. You are good at making him laugh. Why? How do you make him laugh? I yeah. fall down. <laughs> yeah. It's really funny when you fall down. <laughs> I think Joel is what he loves. Yeah. yeah. What does Joel love? Wawa. <laughs> in cups, bathtubs, and the warm, wet tongues and the cool fur of Das. Yes. Maybe the sweet was a daily affection. And bye byes. And blown kisses. And more. Ugh. Always more. This full list of words. <laughs> so few. hope without a word for it. Who is God? What is joy? Who am I to him?
attendant at the doctor. Um, now they think that maybe he's throwing up all the time because he has acid reflux. So they gave me a medication and we can give it to Joel and they said we have to give it at least three full days, but that if he's still throwing up after that, that we can come back. And I mentioned the head tilt thing again, even though they keep saying it's not related, but you always have to mention that one weird outlying thing. So I told them how his head was tilted to the right, but they still say that that's probably not related at all. So I guess we'll just give this a try. And I don't know, I'll tell you more about it when you get home. Let's tell them, Caleb. Fear is cancer's preservative, cancer's embalming oil, and you, O oh accuser, are fear's oil salesman. You're a snake, a serpent, a dragon with snuffed out coal on his breath, molting and talons broken from the struggle to free yourself of your own skin. Hey, do you want to rock? Okay, let's rock. There we go. Oh, sh 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 sh. Hey babe, I was just thinking, do you ever think maybe Joel can hear better than he's supposed to be able to? Because I know like it's supposed to be moderate to severe hearing loss, but sometimes, like today he hears music playing before I do. So I saw him dancing and I had to look around to hear that a song was playing. And I just don't, like if his hearing loss is that bad, I can't imagine. I don't know, I just wonder about it. Anyway, call me later. Bye.
Oh, hey, um, I just wanted to take a shower. Is that okay? Are you okay with Joel? Okay, thanks. Honey, we're on our way home from the hospital now. So if you wanted to preheat the oven starting in about 30 minutes, that would work and we could throw in that lasagna. Um, do you know how they celebrate off treatment day? Like when kids are done with their treatments? I, I guess maybe you don't because you're not in the clinic as much as I am, but on someone's last day, they always bring them a cake and they sing happy off therapy day to you. Anyway, that happened today. I mean, it happens a lot, but today I cried. I just wanted that day so bad, you know? I just like, we're not ever gonna get that day. If he's better, we won't know that he's better. We don't get a day. Anyway, okay, call me if you can. Like, there's probably traffic, so I could talk on my way home. All right, bye.
we can have some answers. Did anyone ask the doctor? Okay, is it just the doctor on call or is this our doctor? Well, because the on-call doctor is just a resident. Is there a way we could talk to our doctor? It just seemed like yesterday it couldn't get what we wanted to happen. I just want to know what the plan is. Who canceled the treatment? I mean, isn't it dangerous for him not to get it? I thought he needed that. I, I know you're just doing things that are safe, but can I, can I just talk to the doctor that moment? favorite game. Do you want to see? Watch out, start it. <laughs> you touch it right here, then the big lion comes. You're not a scary lion. It's so loud. I can roar just like him. Yeah, you hear me why? Why? Don't be afraid. You might want to cover your ears. Tears is my flavor.
This terrible routine, watching you, waiting for you to wake, hoping you will never remember these days of illness and treatment. One day, I'll bring you here, show you your tiny handprints on the wall, and you'll be annoyed that we all think of you as some big miracle. Cancer will be such a small part of all you could grow to be. You will tire of hearing about it. You won't want to see the cards and notes I saved. And I won't mind at all. I'll hold the memories of this hard day. You just leave it behind. the pig. 
eggs, bacon for breakfast. <laughs> Former Bill plays fetch with the pigs. <laughs> Former Bill enjoys a mud bath with the pigs. <laughs> In the winter, Farmer Bill plays hockey on the pond with the ducks. Farmer Bill always wins, but the ducks perform mightily. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, it's not good. I'm sorry guys, it's not good. big it is, I can, in the I can face it, I can size it up. It's quite small at this point, but unfortunately the size isn't terribly important. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. I guess I have imagined it. I've imagined it a lot, but not like this. It's different. I thought I would sob uncontrollably or puke just right on the floor. I thought I'd shake or wail or something. I guess this is shock. Tragedy, he said. That's right. That's the perfect word for this. It's a tragedy. I wonder if he says that every time. He's crying a little. I love him for that. He's not callous. He's genuinely sad. She is too. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curative. We're very good at end of life care. We're very good at managing the pain and masking symptoms at the end of life. How long are we talking about? Prediction time again. No matter what I say, they'll wish it was longer. But sometimes, longer is worse. A few weeks to maybe four months. Is Nick crying? How long are we talking about? How am I going to hold it together now? A few weeks to maybe four months. I cannot cry. They shouldn't feel like they have to comfort me. Back Monday, we can talk about palliative treatment. Palliative? Palliative is medicine you give at the end of life to improve the quality of life. Its goal is to treat the symptoms, but it, it, it can't cure Joel. We'll do a lumbar puncture. 
and talk to our radiation oncologist to decide whether we could do some radiation or just chemotherapy. What would the radiation do? Well, the radiation could probably kill the tumor we see now, which would prevent it from causing any symptoms, but it would not keep more tumors from developing, because we know if it's spread here, it has spread other places too. So, the radiation would buy us some time? No, nothing will really buy us any time at this point. It just can make the time you have left more comfortable. So, we'll schedule you to come back in Monday, and we'll have some options for you to consider. We're so sorry. In the movie, I'd be kicking things and throwing chairs through windows. Amy would be sobbing and back against the wall, so I should be yelling. Why am I not yelling? Thank you. That means a lot. You're welcome. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. good. The MRI? They've always been clear. So we've got an occurrence of a tumor. Well, where is it? How big is it? Well, the tumor's on the surface. And it's quite small at this point. But unfortunately, the size of the tumor is smaller. Any recurrence of the chemotherapy is failed. This is a tragedy. With an ATRT, as soon as you have a recurrence of any kind, it is only a matter of time before it spreads to several locations. We no longer know all the chemotherapy we have at it. We can't continue to do the chemotherapy that we know is resistant to. So there just aren't any treatment options that are serious. many things stirring around in my spirit that I have to write to settle myself and find God's wisdom in the midst of chaos. I'm scared I won't be strong enough to face the things we might have to face in the coming weeks and months. But then I remember how much grace God gave us to walk out everything we've already faced. I've never felt completely overwhelmed and I've never felt alone. So no matter what comes next, and I truly cannot even begin to guess how this will go. I know we will be carried. I want to shout out, look what God is about to do. Watch how he delivers Joel. 
And at the same time, I want to roll up in a silent ball and wait it out with fear and trembling, so aware of all my doubt, but yet convinced that my doubt is insignificant compared to God's really well, then maybe we'll stay in California for a really long time. Like, as long as it keeps helping Joel, then we want to stay and do the best we can for him and stay there where he's getting help. But if the medicine starts to help us... Expectation is so maddening sometimes. Do you know what she wrote on the eve of Joel's first surgery? The one back in January when we first found the tumor? I seriously feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm pleading for God to spare his life. And I'm tempted to despair because self-inspection leads me to conclude I shouldn't expect much of anything. <sighs> and yet my wife is expecting a surprise party from the Lord replete with presents and supernatural miracles. <sighs> I envy her. in bed. Oh, can you at least tell us a story? <sighs> um, sure. Okay. This is the story of a very brave knight named <laughs> Joel. Joel the baby knight? Yes. <laughs> Joel the baby knight, but he's also Joel the very brave knight, and he was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. Because of his tumor? Mm hmm Where does the dragon live? Um, in a forest. Is the dragon big? Very big. Does the dragon breathe fire? Much fire, you guys. So, Joel has armor, like a sword and a shield and stuff? Ooh, or maybe a spear? Yeah, that sounds good. So, so brave. So, Joel, with his sword and his shield and his awesome spear and the super jumping ability was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. What other superpowers does he have? Uh, he also has grace. 
That's not a superpower. <laughs> it's the best superpower. Do you guys know what grace means? Yeah, it's kind of like help. Yeah, it's kind of like help. You know, and he's not the only one who's ever tried to fight this dragon. So some very brave knights have fought this dragon and lost. And some are able to drive the dragon off. And then they can go home and they can keep fighting for a while. So the kingdom is safe. Joel's been fighting this dragon for a long time, huh? A long time. But Joel found a nice empty cave where he could rest and it seems like the dragon couldn't find him but just when he thought that the danger was past the dragon found his hiding spot and came after him in the cave That dragon's going to kill Joel. Joel's going to lose. Why do you say that? Because Joel is just a baby. Baby can't kill dragons. You're right. The baby can't kill a dragon. But that's the best part of the story. God fights for Joel. So he fights that dragon cancer right with Joel. And we know that God can win even if Joel can. That's crazy. Well, what about Tim from Church Man? He died from cancer. Wasn't God for him? Didn't he have this? Of course, God fought for Tim too. Tim fought so well. God is so proud of him. So maybe for Tim, getting to be done fighting was grace. Already drowning. How can you sit there like that? Despair doesn't help anything. Neither does false hope. And I'm not despairing. How can you say false hope? You're drowning! Well, you're missing your oars! And you don't even know where you're going. And yet you're so sure you're gonna get there. It's better than drowning. Enjoy floating on the surface like you always do. There's nothing deep about drowning. Just get in the boat. You have to let me feel this. Someone has to. That's not fair. I love him as much as you do. I just really believe we're going to be okay.
sunset looks pretty from here. The orange glow cast on the wall. Better than the muted colors of this hospital. I wonder why they choose blues and greens. <laughs> they, the ones who choose the colors that heal. Green for life. Blue. Hmm. For comfort? Purple stripes to hide the stains. <laughs> huh. This chair is too small and sticks to my skin. I hate vinyl. Blue. Purple. <laughs> hmm, the ocean maybe? No, under the ocean. Silent, warm, and salty, like tears. He won't stop crying. I don't blame him. He feels miserable. I hate that we're here. I hate that he's sick. I just want to feel better. Throw your head, buddy, don't. <laughs> I hate this room. I didn't used to. For a, for a moment, it was an adventure. I was cast as the compassionate and caring father, holed up with his fragile son in a small cleft in the rocks. The storm raging, waves ripping at the sharp black rocks below, and enveloped in my arms, he feels safe, and I am holding him firmly, trying not to slip. Because if you hold tight enough, Nothing will take him. Right? around. <laughs> Is that funny? A bounce, a bounce, a bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> oh, he won't stop crying.
buddy, don't you want juice? He hits the box. I don't catch it. <laughs> he drinks it greedily. Big, deep gulps. Okay, Jolie, that's enough. Breathe, kiddo. And he does. And I wipe his face of snot and tears and juice. And then he vomits. And I catch it. I always catch it. I know you're thirsty, buddy, but you'll throw it up. No, don't grab too hard. You'll squirt all the juice out. Here, let me have it. It's so late, Joel. Lay down. I can't hold you. I can't make you feel better. Shh. Shh. Okay, buddy, okay. I'll hold you. Oh, Joel Bug. You look so miserable. No! Don't hit your head on the bars, Joel. Joel! Joel! I know you're mad. Please stop. Please. St stop. I shake. I weep. I pray. I plead. I need peace. You are. I don't know how that you are. You are there. I want you here. I want you to call my son. And you've brought us this far. He's still here. Not dead. Not there. With you. God, I want him here with me. Please. Peace. He sleeps. Thank you. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus and his disciples are on a boat and a furious storm hits the sea and everyone thinks they're going to die. And where do you think Jesus is? Rowing alongside them? No. He's asleep in the back of the boat. So his disciples are freaking out and wake him up and they say, don't you care if we drown? So Jesus gets up and he says to the storm, quiet, be still. And the sea becomes completely calm. Then he asks his disciples why they are so scared and if they have any faith at all. Like he was frustrated with them. Because even though Jesus said, let's go to the other side of the lake, his disciples thought he was going to just let them die. Oh, we're in Nevada. We're in Nevada. We're in Nevada. We're in California. <laughs> so, now that we're in California, how much longer to San Francisco? About three and a half hours, guys.
always good. Oh. <laughs> well, it's 10 a.m. now, so that means you guys can grab one more item from your road trip bags. And it's my turn to be the king. Oh, <laughs> oh Elijah, it's okay. You were a very good, noble, just, and true king. But now we have to do it as a bond. My best edict as king is we dance like egg monkeys for 30 minutes. <sighs> Maybe like five minutes? Nope. Basic. Nope, babe. He said 30. We must do what he says. This is the worst. Someone make Elijah the king. There's a monkey tickles. There's a monkey tickles. <laughs> My second edict as king is Elijah gets to be the king. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> Good joke, King Isaac. What's the matter, Elijah? Was that too loud for you? Oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. We were too loud monkeys. But more than that, if he does die, will Jesus even care? Will he weep for him as he did for Lazarus? Will he weep for me? I think greater than my fear of death is that of insignificance. Or rather, my default assumption is that my thoughts and passions and loves and the stuff of my being are insignificant. How could the creator of all that is and ever was love my son as he did Lazarus? And could my soul stranded on this blue raft awash in a sea of stars, ice, and dust matter enough to him to turn his hand in mercy? Jesus wept for Lazarus. Five minutes later, he raised Lazarus from the dead. I should have known we both end up in the same place. We always do. It just scares me every time. I just really believe he'll be healed. I, I know you believe too, just when you act like that, I get all unsure. I don't know that. What do you mean? I just hope that.
is us. My God, come see. Oh, Lord, my God, let this boy's life return to him. Lord, have mercy on us because he is weak. Lord, rise oh, up. Oh, Lord, my God, let this boy's let life go return to him. him. He was not in the wind. He was not in the earthquake. He was not in the fire. He was here in a gentle whisper.
So here we are. And the air is emptier without his laugh, and yet our hearts are still full, but with a different drink. And this ride we've been on for so long is silent. And so also the Lord. And so we sit here in this new silence and long for the music to start again and for the disc to spin again, even if it means going round and round for many more years. For at least we would be moving and Joel would be laughing here on earth and not only in heaven. But in this space, I sense his silence is only because he is drawing his breath. And now we know love and longing empty and full, all in one moment. And I am grateful that we loved him well, and that we miss him well. And I hope that in the Lord's next breath, he will whisper his love song to you, his beloved, and that you will know him differently and more deeply. But now, we grieve in silence not without his presence. I bet you would like it too. Look at all of these pancakes. Did you ever see pancakes like this? The big as me. A big one is for me. A little one is for my dog. I always wanted a dog, and now I got one. I even got to name it. Banjo! Whoa, bubbles? I love bubbles. Look, I can touch one. Man, you don't catch a bubble. She likes to bite them. I want more bubbles. Bubbles. Do you see a rainbow in the pebble? I'm here, man. You have another pancake. Man, you love syrup. Me too. Syrup is my favorite party.
Thank mm-hmm. you.